Commissioner Matt Merritt! Tonight, egos will be wounded, feelings will be hurt, because we don't come here to make friends, we come here to fight! This is humiliation. This is brutality. Anything goes. No holes barred. This is Comedy Fight Club! <laughs> Mike Harrington is throwing our camera. Do we want to get that set up before we continue the show right now? It's like, it's like a player ran into the sideline camera. Yeah. <laughs> Only you're not very athletic. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming out Comedy Fight Club, coming to you live every single week from right here at the Sand Comedy Club, also known as the CFC Arena. <laughs> I am the official commissioner of Comedy Fight Club, the sleeveless wonder of the world, Matt Marin. Yeah. And because we're every week, we are on Twitter and Instagram at Comedy Fight NYC. Thanks to this man with our roaming camera. Give it up for Nico Pav. <laughs> Got a great show in store for you every single week. The best up and coming comedians in New York City get on this stage. <laughs> they will roast each other to each other's faces. They're gonna say the most mean, vicious, brutal, offensive shit that you've ever heard. And you're not gonna get offended because no one's here is a pussy who's gonna blog about it, right? We're not doing that. No, if you don't want if you don't like it, you can go to another show. This show's for people who want to hear the worst fucking shit you'll ever hear. Is that cool with you guys? <laughs> Matt acts like he could read the blog. <laughs> He's dumb, is what I'm saying, guys. He's <laughs> fucking retarded. Look at him. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Eli. We got five battles to be coming up tonight. Four undercard battles, one main event. Gonna go over the rules here at Comedy Fight Club. Each undercard battle is five jokes, tit for tat. Gonna go back and forth, and the winners of these battles will be determined by our judges. <laughs> And our first judge, not sitting at the table over there, sitting in front of me right now. From this point forward, every single one of you is a part of Comedy Fight Club. Your applause is going to count for one vote in each of these fights. So I need some energy from you guys. You're a part of the show. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> and I and I ask you if you think one fighter wins or if you think the other fighter wins, you will not clap for both because we can't have two winners, and that leads me to the most important rule here at Comedy Fight Club. No fucking pity claps. No fucking pity claps. Now, this is Comedy Fight Club. This is where sympathy comes to die. If someone's going to lose up here, you will let them lose with dignity. Now, let's get to our judges over here up Incidentally, first. pity claps are what you've been giving him the past 10 minutes, if you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know what they are. That's what his mom gives him when he brings home a test. <laughs> his, his mom gave me a clap, and it wasn't pretty. All right, so she's a whore. Focus, people. We're He's dumb. Meet. His mom's a whore. Yes. If he was a girl, he'd be a dumb whore. No one will fuck him either. Don't worry. When uh, Disney Plus takes over and the show inevitably falls on the soon-to-be-dissolved Netflix, you can skip this intro. <laughs> 
We're going to meet our judges now up first. Former Roast Masters champion, a roasting legend here in New York City. Fight Club, give it up for Eli Sayers. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. What's up, Eli? How are you doing tonight? Doing good, Matt. Thanks for dressing up, man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> We got a bunch of roasters coming here. A couple of first-time roasters coming up tonight. Any advice for some of the battlers getting I mean, to the stage tonight? I mean, look, do your best because there's some. Uh, you, you do this enough, there's some serious perks, man. Let me tell. You, I'm not just talking about my Sunday night 10% drink discount either. <laughs> so, so work hard, stretch beforehand, stay safe up there. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for Eli Sayers. And up next on the High Society uh, High Society Radio podcast on Gas Digital Network, give it up for Chris from Brooklyn. What is that on your shirt? Is that an anus? No, it's Finn Balor. He's a pro know. wrestler. He's really cool. Trust me, guys. Mm, it's not going well. No, it's not. <laughs> Call me retarded again. That was working. You before. are retarded. I mean, <laughs> look at him. Nobody would dress like that that wasn't retarded. <laughs> How are you feeling tonight, Chris? Pretty good. You I'm have any advice to the fighters coming up to the stage? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. Give it up for Chris from Brooklyn! <laughs> and up next, the extremely unlikable from the In Hot Water Show what? on the Kumia Network. Give it up for Gino Bisconti! Hey, everybody! <laughs> I'm, I'm very likable. Ask this cunt right here. I am likable. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Gino? I'm fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for having me, buddy. You have any advice? Some of these roasters coming out to the stage want to leave an imprint here. They want to make their mark on the crowd tonight. What do you do to make your mark on the crowd besides opening by calling a girl in the front row? <laughs> <laughs> Don't try. Don't try so hard. It's over fucking rated. Just show up, do your thing, and see where you land. That's you, what I say. You've heard Matt's it. got Gino that part of it so down. <laughs> <laughs> Someday you guys want to be 50 living alone with a cat, so stop trying. <laughs> You don't have roommates anymore? I'm proud of you, Gino. <laughs> nope. It, they don't fit in the two-seat car. They don't. Fight Club, give it up for Gino Bisconti. And finally, he's got a half hour on Comedy Central. One of the Canadians' <laughs> funniest men. Give it up for Michael Harrison. Fuck. Yeah. I just said Canadian instead of Canada. I'm a I am a fucking retard. Give it up for Michael Harrison. Yeah. One more time. Hey, <laughs> Sweet. Michael, how are you doing tonight? Pretty fucking amazing. Let's do this. Yeah, you ready to start this? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, do you have any advice for fighters coming up to the stage who are going to roast each other tonight? Oh, I don't even give a shit. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm just jacked to see it. This is my first time judging, so my opinion doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up. His opinion doesn't matter. Give it up for Michael Harrison. <laughs> And, of course, they've been with us since we started doing the show four years ago. It's the officials of Comedy Fight Club. Up first, the official bishop of Comedy Fight Club, the king of the bits, the one, the lonely, Andrew Casertano! <laughs> and the official spirit animal of Comedy Fight Club. Hell, you keeping us hyped all night. Give it up for Justin Lanza! And before we get started, you'll be hearing this guy throughout the night. Give it up for our DJ, DJ Charlottesville. You will not replace us. 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 What do you say, Fight Club? Are you ready to see some fights tonight? One more time, are you ready to see some fucking fights tonight? <laughs> Let's get this started. Your first bout undercard match scheduled for five jokes, tit for tat. Introducing first from Ashland, Massachusetts. He looks like a Tony Hawk's pro skater character you've never heard of. Fluke Human! Look at Mikey, I think he's Mikey. We are sinister sons. Hey, we the type of type to preach it with a grin and a grin. Come on, come on. Luke, how are you doing tonight? Pretty dope, man. You excited? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> We're going to meet his opponent now from Chicago, Illinois. He's a doctor who can prescribe a woman anything except an orgasm. Sandeep Sand! <laughs> how are you feeling tonight, Sandeep? Uh, my opponent's name is Fluke Human. <laughs> <laughs> feeling good. 
<laughs> this is America. Your name is weird, too. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you guys wants to go first? Sandeep's gonna go first, Fluke's going second. Fight Club, are you excited for your first fight tonight? Yeah. Five jokes, tip for tat, this fight starts now. Uh, Fluke's from the suburbs, his dad's a dentist, his mom's a physical therapist. He graduated UConn with a degree in environmental science and now he wants to be a rapper. He's the baddest dude at the food co-op. Dude, just stick with what you do best. Roofing girls kombucha tea at the farmer's market. Facts. Yo, give it up for Bollywood Bob Saget. <laughs> First blood. Dude is starring in a Full House reboot where both the girls' parents die and they get adopted by their SAT tutor. <laughs> Full credit house. Thank you, Hacklemore. <laughs> Fluke got into rapping so he could make a diss track about his school before shooting it up. <laughs> Yo, Sandeep's uh, like old as fuck. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's been doing stand-up since I was in high school, watching people younger than him do stand-up. <laughs> On my phone in his biology class. <laughs> Thank you, I thought she was 21 Savage. And another one. <laughs> Fluke, <laughs> Fluke dresses like he's in high school because they say dress for the girlfriend you want. Catch me outside, how about that? Oh, yeah, I rap. Uh, he's a psychiatrist. It's cool you all came out to watch me haggle with my Xanax plug. Appreciate the support. Uh, he prescribes his shows to treat depression and he prescribes Ambien to treat people walking out of his shows. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Me Too Chains. <laughs> Fluke's, Fluke's day job is moving furniture. His night job is moving unconscious women into his basement. Get over here! Uh, uh, yeah, so um, I checked his website. On his website, it says he is the only two-time comedy fight club champion. And he lost so many battles so badly after that just to battle me in an undercard event. Yeah, you could call him the goat. I call him the cow because he's Hindu and his comedy only worsens. <laughs> Last joke. All right, thank you, bestiality boy. <laughs> Fluke's the kind of guy that uses the actual N-word when lecturing people to not use the N-word. Yo, I lied before. He's been doing comedy since The Simpsons first aired. <laughs> uh, to him, the problem with Apu is during that time, Apu's gotten way more pussy. <laughs> All right, we are going to go to you guys first, Fight Club. Do you think the winner of this fight is Sandeep Sen? Or do you think the winner of this fight is Fluke Human? Woo! Crowd vote goes to Sandeep Sam. We'll go to our judges. Michael Harrison, we'll start with you. What Sue do you think eight. of this fight? Yeah, it was a great fight. I really liked it. <laughs> I sound so Canadian already, hey? <laughs> I know. I'm jacked, of course. Michael, uh, what did you think about this fight? I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Fluke Human. Oh, I love your name, Fluke Human. That's such a roast name. You just make fun of yourself before it starts. I love it. Of course it's not his real name. Yeah, you think I thought that? I feel like I'm gonna go to one of his I feel like I'm gonna go to one of his rap concerts. He'll be called Todd or something, you know what I mean? Gino just expects less of any foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I know Sandeep. Sandeep is like a, a clean comic. One of the nicest guys. To see him go that dark, I'm like, oh, he's Got a little uh, Dexter in him, you know what I mean? So that was impressive. I feel like if you win tonight, you're gonna be dancing on the Joker stairs up in the Bronx, you know? <laughs> so uh, all in all, I was very impressed with both, but I'm gonna go with Sandeep. Two votes for Sandeep Sen. Going over to Gino Bisconti. I, uh, I, I thought it was a great opening roast. Look who's really? holding the mic. He's gonna start rapping like Luke. <laughs> Look at him. I just wanna get all the aids I have right into the top. Um. <laughs> You can't have all the AIDS. Uh, I thought it was we a great. We can have all the AIDS here at Comedy Fight Club, right? Right. AIDS, 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 AIDS. 
It's the only applause break I've gotten all month. All right, look. <laughs> and I had to help you with this. Distra- <laughs> as distracting as the name Fluke Human is, I can't get past the fact the doctor said that he was roofing young ladies. Not roofing them, he was roofing them. Of course, like, that's where you'd be fact-checking. Because you know? that freaks me out. <laughs> the guy's dressed like a fucking Hindu brawny man, and he calls himself a fucking doctor and doesn't know how to say roofing. You were great. You were really good, too. Just to keep it interesting, I'm throwing a vote to the Fluke man. Two votes for Sandeep. One vote for Fluke. Chris from Brooklyn. Um, Fluke, you look like a fish to me. I like that. Um, I feel like you're that dude from that fish fucking movie that came out a few years ago. Um, but Sandeep really fucked you in your ass because I really think he beat you there. Um, yeah, I'll give it to Sandeep. Three votes for Sandeep Sen, one for Fluke Human. Sandeep straps up. Also, doesn't Chris look like someone who would call the Shape of Water that fish fucking movie? <laughs> That's it, Shape of Water. That was it. <laughs> Harrison knew it immediately. He took the gay bait. It's the shape of water. Oh. You know that. Eli Sayers. Uh, I thought it was really close. It was a good battle. Uh, I, do, I do like you, Fluke. Uh, I'll make this quick so you can get back to shoplifting skateboard parts. But uh, yeah, yeah. Sandeep started with not as good, and you were great. But then he came back, and it's like I really, I really like the notorious unfunny. But like, I got to give it to Sandeep. I think. <laughs> So the winner of this opening fight is Sandeep Sen. How you guys feeling? You ready to see more fights? All right, up next from Cambridge, Massachusetts, his dad is trans, and that's the only thing interesting about him, Jacob Lai. <laughs> How are you doing, Jacob? I'm great. How are you doing, man? Good. You know your opponent very well? Uh, sort of. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> We're going to meet him now, introducing his opponent from Phoenix, Arizona. He has one testicle, and that's the only thing interesting about him. Matt Levy! Thank you. How are you feeling right now, Matt? I've been eyeing that pizza from the back all night. <laughs> One slice, I'm taking it after this, no matter how it goes. <laughs> okay, I guess that's kind of confident to go yeah. into this. No matter how this goes, I'm taking your slice, pal. Okay. <laughs> Which one of you guys wants to go first? I'll go first. Matt's going to go got first. The mic. Yeah. Jacob's going second. Fight Club, are you ready for this fight? Yeah. Five jokes, tip for tat. This fight starts now. <laughs> Jacob, you make a wish adult. You look like the only struggle you've ever gone through is going to Firefest. <laughs> All right, Matt uh, had testicular cancer. They removed one of his. <laughs> <laughs> Never failed. He's half a man. I had cancer. <laughs> First blood. <laughs> I can finish the joke, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Matt had testicular cancer. They removed one of his testicles. He barely survived, which is awful, but don't worry. The doctors say it could come back at any moment. (laughs) Uh, Jacob is a finance bro, which goes to show that not all of them are that bad. Some are too weak to rape. (laughs) Uh, Matt works for SeatGeek, where he can sell tickets to any shows other than his own. That is a roast joke, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, I'll get you guys a promo code after the show. Uh, <laughs> Jacob's dad is trans. Uh, a lot of Jacob's jokes are about this, uh, mostly so we forget that Jacob looks like a Jewish Neanderthal. <laughs> That's right, my dad is trans, but she never got the surgery, so she still has more balls than you do. <laughs> Uh, Jacob is from Boston, uh, so he told his trans dad he was proud of him for not being a fucking fairy. <laughs> All right. Um, Matt, uh, Matt dresses like shit. Uh, Matt looks like me if I never listened to the bullies. <laughs> Last joke. I'm getting that pizza afterwards. <laughs> uh, Jacob's dad uh, got a pussy. Uh, it was when his wife gave birth to their son, Jacob Lott. <laughs> 
Uh, Matt just got married, which is great, because now starting comedy is no longer the worst decision he's ever made in his life. <laughs> I love you, babe. All right, we're going to go to our judges' table over here. Eli says, we'll start with you. What do you think of the second fight of the night? Uh, fun stuff. Good job, guys. Uh, good stuff. You all, uh, uh, all three of you look like different types of aging frat boy. <laughs> Uh, both of y'all, I thought, had some good stuff. I like you, Matt. Matt, you look like a guy who starts a lot of diets. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I, thought, I thought my man had some really well-written stuff tonight, though. Uh, I'm going to give it to you. Great There's stuff. There's one vote for Jacob. I know. Chris from Brooklyn. I kind of agree with Eli. Matt, you look like you wore that outfit so you could lie to people about training for a marathon, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm trying, people. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, mad that his dad is trans. And Sorry, Chris from Brooklyn. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's whatever. It happens. Sometimes you have a bad day. I, I really need a drink. Um, I think i got to give it to Jacob as well. I thought the, the thing about him having, being half a man and his dad is a uh, chick. You're is the one who said the half the a man thing. No, he said it. He said he has more balls than you. Yeah, oh, that, that was that the, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. Okay. I there, all right. Yeah. All right, we've ruined that momentum. Yeah, All right, two go. votes for Jacob. No votes for Matt. We're going to go to you guys now. Do you think the winner of this fight is the winner of this fight, Matt Levy? No. No fucking pity claps. This happened at the last one, too. Or is the winner of this fight, Jacob Lai? Crowd vote goes to Jacob Lai. Michael Harrison, what do you think of this fight? Ah, it was just hilarious that you're both making fun of each other's jobs, for fuck's sakes. It's like the battle of white privilege right now up there. <laughs> but uh, I love Jacob. Jacob crushed it tonight. Matt did well, too. But uh, mine's on Jacob. Another vote for Jacob Lai. He's got it wrapped up. Gino Bisconti, final thoughts. <laughs> he had cancer. <laughs> <laughs> It was a great roast, but you really turned it on the comeback with him and blah, blah, blah. And I can't stop wondering which nut is still left. But that was great. That was great. Winner of this fight, Jacob Lai. That guy ate his pizza. I think the remaining nut drifts to the middle. Yeah. Pizza's for winners, fatty. Go sit down. How you feeling, Fight Club? You ready for more fights? Right, up next from Heath, Massachusetts. She looks like no one showed up to her birthday party where she lied about her age. Sarah Hartshaw! What's up, Sarah? How are you feeling tonight? Pretty good, yeah. You excited for this? Um, I'm tired and I want to go home. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're going to meet our opponent now from Buffalo, New York. He looks like his last Google search was how to eat pussy. John Shuda! <laughs> he does look like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it reads. It reads. How you feeling, John? Uh, I think this is going to suck because Sarah's in an open relationship, so even if I win, I think I lose. All right. You're right. It is, it, he's right. It is probably going to suck. <laughs> Five jokes, tip for tap. Which one of you guys wants to go first? John's going to go first. Okay. Sarah's going second. Fight Club, are you ready for this fight? <laughs> Pretend John didn't just say that thing. Five jokes, tip for tap. This fight starts now. Sarah works for Planned Parenthood, which makes sense no, because don't. she has an abortion body uh, but a miscarriage face. <laughs> John's father was a cop in Buffalo, and now John is a hipster in Brooklyn, so he's really found his own way to keep, you know, ruining black people's lives. It's fun. Nice, nice. Uh, Sarah's a plus-size model. She weighs 125 pounds on each side. <laughs> My head. A plus size model is someone who devours the other fun sized models. <laughs> Shots fired! Shots uh, fired! It's 
true. I have eaten out more women than you. <laughs> A lot. First blood. <laughs> oh, man. I was so nervous because this roast, I thought it was going to be so hard because this fucker is so boring. He really puts the, I'm sorry, he puts the doughy in John Doe. Like, where do I, well. Uh, Sarah, Sarah used to work on a farm in rural Massachusetts, but got into modeling after cosmetics company wanted to test uh, makeup on her and the other pigs. <laughs> Uh, you're less hot than Seth Rogen. Like, I don't even want... Okay. Uh, you look like you're only woke because you got bullied by the clan members in your town. Like, I don't... Uh, vaguely true. Uh, <laughs> Sarah's been modeling for a long time. She started with uh, perky double Ds, but now has boobs so saggy, little black girls in Harlem use them to play double Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> If, if you fuck her hard enough, uh, they can be used as propellers that will get you from Midtown to JFK faster and cheaper than Uber Chopper. <laughs> uh, John's older brother is a janitor with schizophrenia who has attempted suicide, and it's a low bar, but I really hope you're more successful than him someday. <laughs> Last joke. I hope he kills himself. That's what I was saying. All right. You know what? It's only funny if you have to explain it. Okay, nailed it. Uh, Sarah married her high school sweetheart. Yeah, her husband's a three-tiered cake. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, John grew up Catholic, so, but thank God he also grew up fat, you know? So he didn't get molested, he just had to watch the door. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with you guys, Fight Club. Do you think the winner of this fight is Sarah Hartshorn? Or is the winner of this fight John Shooter? It sounded about even. We'll go to our judges' table over here and see what you guys think. We'll start with Eli Sayers. What do you think of this fight? I thought it was a really good battle. Like, yeah, John, you look way funnier than you're supposed to be. Like... <laughs> Without a doubt, I do like. Uh, I thought Sarah took it. I thought it was good. I thought I like that. Uh, he, I like that he. Uh, I like he tried to go after you with the fat stuff, but you kind of threw it in his face. Like I understand, like you're probably like as a plus size model, you're used to being under a lot of pressure, just like the runways you were on. But uh, yeah, you came out. You both were good, but you came out especially. You were poised. Had some great jokes. Congrats. This is one vote for Sarah Hartshorn, Chris from Brooklyn. Um, I thought that was a very, it was very close. I think uh, Sarah's dressed like a pumpkin and you look like you poison children on Halloween. Um, finally, something, thank God. I was getting ready to kill myself, guys. I think Sarah we edged were so it out, close. though. Yeah, that's right, that's right, man. Please Thanks don't laugh you. next time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Two votes uh, for Sarah Hartshorn. Michael Harrison, what do you think of this fight? Uh, it was really good. I don't know why you started with that shit joke before it even started. <laughs> right? That bothered me. That really bothered me. I couldn't get past that. Because you do look like a guy who would probably get sexually aroused if a woman made fun of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I feel like this is a win for you no matter what. But, uh, yeah, that's why I'm going to give it to her anyways. So there we go. Dream Have a good one. Sarah Hart. Sean, she's got it wrapped up, but Gina Bisconti. I just like when you say wrapped up and Sarah Hartshorn in the same sentence. Uh, it's another It's the only joke. time he'll use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't fuck me wearing a wetsuit. I... No, I would not. Can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> Your eyes say no, but the restraining order says I mean it. Okay. Was it how endearing he was to the women at the top of the show? What? No. It was not. Cunt first thing on the show. I did. I did. I always start with the cunt. It wears them down. Uh... <laughs> Now that was a great rose battle. Obviously, my vote. You were on, you were born and raised on a farm, though. Yeah. Me too. Vineland, New Jersey. See, we have something in common. This is going nowhere. Where was I? <laughs> Cunt. Okay, that's the thing. <laughs> Done. Winner she of this wins. fight, Sarah Hartshorn. <laughs> we got two more fights left. Fight Club. You got some energy? Yeah. <laughs> Right up next, from Potomac, Maryland. He looks like a more retarded version of Fez from that 70s show. Tyler, me! What's up, Tyler? How are you doing tonight? 
I'm good. Good evening, distinguished panel of judges. <laughs> That's going to work against you. <laughs> and his opponent from Baking's Ridge, New Jersey. He recently... Basking, Basking Ridge, New Jersey. <laughs> he made it here all the way from getting lost at the mall today. Kyle Bradley! <laughs> Any of these sheets. What's up, Kyle? How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How about you? Good. Are you excited for this? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Which one of you guys wants to go first? You want me to go first? All right. I'll go first. Kyle's going first. Tyler's going second. Fight Club, are you ready for this yeah! fight? Yeah! Five jokes, tip for tat. This fight starts now. All right. So Tyler is gay, uh, and... <laughs> Uh, when he originally came out, he was a bottom, but then decided to try to top for a while, and then he started comedy and resumed his p rightful place at the bottom. <laughs> right. she, said, oh, she said, oh, that was a pity clap. I argue that we have this woman removed. I'm sorry to interrupt the show, but there are certain things that can't be messed with, like the rules on a roast show that will not get you on she television. She thought it was ador it was more of an adorable awe. You know, like when people look at Mike's penis. Aw. <laughs> I'm by the way, that is my girlfriend. So yeah, she can attest. <laughs> she can stay. <laughs> I'm very sorry. All right, moving on. Uh, I am gay, like Kyle said, and yet I'm still somehow convinced I've made more women come. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Twinkerbell. Um, <laughs> uh, Tyler runs an open mic, and at one of them, he once encouraged people to dose themselves with poppers, which could be construed as a me too, but I think it would be more of a me who. <laughs> Was that the end? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, I am gay again, and uh, in the gay community, we don't call this roasting, we call it reading, and Kyle dropped out of college, so he can't do either. Uh, I did drop out of college, and as I said before, Tyler's gay, so we do have something in common. Our parents are disappointed in us. <laughs> uh, Kyle's mom has lupus, which is a very serious disease that black people get and white women get for attention. Uh, Finish him! Thank you, Justin the Horrible. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, let's, um, sorry, uh... Uh, Tyler's last name is Mead, um, and uh, his last name has something in common with the drink he's enjoyed by big hairy men. <laughs> uh, me and Kyle are both on the same kind of antidepressant, SSRIs, and right now we just look like the best before and after campaign I've ever seen. <laughs> last joke. Uh, Tyler is gay and Jewish, so he has money. Um, and so He's right. obviously he lives in Hell's Kitchen, which is ironic because it's where he'll be ordering in the afterlife. <laughs> that's good. Uh, that was good. Um, Kyle has attempted suicide twice, which just means he's a quitter. And uh, hey, you know what they say, buddy. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah! Kyle trying to kill himself didn't get into full applause break here. <laughs> We're going to start with our judge panel. Gino Bisconti, we'll start with you. What uh, do you think of this fight? I don't remember their names, but they were great. Uh, I want to go shopping with the gay guy when he tries on an outfit and says, this is great, now bring it in two sizes smaller, please. <laughs> yeah, I stumbled all over that fucking joke. Anyway, uh, I thought it was great. Uh, I thought it was hilarious that he tried to kill himself. That's never not funny. <laughs> but I'll give it to the gay kid whose name I forgot. What was it? Tyler, I'm sorry, buddy. Tyler. <laughs> One vote for Tyler. Michael Harrison. Uh, I just keep looking at that guy's cock. Why do you have your, uh, your fly down, buddy? <laughs> Can you stop that? It's like you're trying to turn on the other member, you know? <laughs> your opponent. Uh, yeah, and then he's wearing a uh, teddy bear. I, this is the most adorable Roastmaster or Roaster I've ever seen. I feel like Nickelodeon sponsored this one. <laughs> Like, one of you is going to get slime for losing, or maybe we'll just dump Harrington's cum on the loser. <laughs> uh, all in all, yeah, Jacob. I'm going to give it to Jacob. Who's no, Jacob? I don't know. You? <laughs> Fuck. 
So sorry. I thought that was your name. What was your name? That was the Tyler. We're doing that. Tyler. That's the guy. <laughs> you were great. Who he, are you? He, he buys clothes and then he asks for two. Su- it's still not gonna work. Though. Michael, very respectful to the gays, uh, remembering their names. Two votes for Tyler. Michael will go to you. Do you think the winner of this fight is Kyle Bradley? Or is the winner of this fight Tyler Mead? Crowd vote goes Tyler Mead. He's got it wrapped up. But Chris from Brooklyn, what did you think of this fight? I thought you had some good ideas. It didn't, they didn't really. You have nothing to add. No, I have nothing to add. This is over. We, we, you won. It's fine. Uh, you're a cunt, which is a gay thing. That's good. You're. What? How come black people laugh when he calls a woman a cunt? I can't call a gay guy a cunt. He's wearing a wetsuit. No, he's yeah. right. Fucking. <laughs> you know what? Where's it? Matt Levy? Come get a slice of this pizza. It's fucking fine. <laughs> he, he won. That's fine. Eli Sayers. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really like Jacob. He was awesome. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, I <laughs> No, nah, it was good. Kyle, uh, I like, uh, well, first of all, Kyle, it's great of you to come out here on school picture day and everything and do this, but I, I, I did think you had some good ideas. Uh, I, that, la- that Hell's That's Kitchen joke, that Hell's Kitchen, <laughs> that Hell's Kitchen joke was legitimately an awesome joke. That was great. But overall, he killed you like you killed your pets growing up. <laughs> oh, Winner. Flowers for Algernon Winner of this fight, Jacob! <laughs> Give it up for Tyler Mead! Now we're gonna hear from our spirit animal. It's party time. Give it up for Justin Lanza! What do you guys say? You guys having fun so far? Oh my god, I'm so glad you guys are here. I see a lot of new faces. Thank you guys for sticking around. I just want to give you a a quick recap of some of the great battles we had just seen. I want to give a special shout out to Kyle Bradley. Even though his strategy didn't work, he came here, he wore the teddy bear shirt to win over the friendship in the audience and took his fly down to assert dominance. <laughs> that was number one. Number two. Oh, Sarah Hart, Shorn, and uh, John Shuda. Uh, John Shuda, your dad is a Buffalo cop. Are you here? Oh, okay. He left. That's fine. Uh, I was gonna, I had to confront him after the show because I once had a cop unholster his gun on me after I snuck into a public pool, so I've never had a joke made me feel literally triggered, but (laughs) there's a first time for everything. Uh, I also love that he called Sarah Hartshorn double Dutch titties. That is the blackest insult on the whitest guy I have ever seen (laughs) in my entire life. And I gotta say, uh, very talented Sarah Hartshorn. They should book Sarah Hartshorn in Marvel movies because then I can finally believe that an actress could beat up five dudes at once. <laughs> Let's see here. Two more battles to go over. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Fluke Human and Sandeep Sen. I love that line about being Hacklemore. That really uh, tickled me a bit. Uh, I wrote a few lines as Hacklemore if you guys would like to hear them. Yeah. Fluke Human, known as Hacklemore. Uh, I'm going to go to the thrift shop. I rap, but get high fives from cops. My name is Fluke, but I don't flop. I bang chicks, but never on top. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's okay. I'll, uh, I'll uh, save that one, I guess, for my own rap career. Uh, you don't have to take it, Luke. Uh, Matt Levy and Jacob Lye. That was fun. Um, uh, Matt Levy battling Jacob Lye. That, was, that looks like the first time Matt's battled a lie since... Someone accused him from stealing the cookies from a cookie jar. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, that's all I got to say about that. You guys ready for more show? Let's give it go for Mr. Matt Marin. The spirit animal, Justin Lanza. And now Fight Club. It is time for our main event of the evening. It's going to be a three-round battle. It's a special battle. One of the competitors is a former comedy fight club champion. The other one, Philadelphia, the comedy community down there, did a roast battle. This is the best roaster from Philadelphia coming up to New York. Face one of our champions. Guys, I need some energy for this main event. Are you guys ready? (laughs) Introducing first. Huh? 
Someone say no. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing first. <laughs> That'd be funny if he yelled no again when I did that. <laughs> From Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, he is a former comedy fight club champion. He's gay and Jewish, so at his circumcision, he came when the rabbi sucked his dick. Mark Benjamin! How are you, Matt? I'm good. How are you doing, Mark? Oh, I'm great, Matt. You excited for this? Oh, I'm so... Facing Philly's best. You're from Mechanicsburg, wow. Pennsylvania. Mechanicsburg yes. versus Philly. Right, No sure. one here has heard of, heard of Mechanicsburg. Nobody <laughs> gives a fuck, Matt, about <laughs> Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. That was a former life of mine. I'm a New Yorker now. Okay. <laughs> I escaped that shithole of Pennsylvania. We're going to meet his opponent from Philadelphia, it's, Pennsylvania. It's What's funny because he spends all of his time trying to get into shitholes. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey! Chris from Brooklyn is back! You got to be, pa gotta be patient. Hello. You got to be patient. Wow. Come Where's all the <laughs> Never heard that one. Where's all these shithole countries that Trump promised me? God damn it! I'm very sorry. His opponent... <laughs> from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He looks like pedophiles call him a real creep. It's Sean! What's his, I forgot his last name. He's new here. <laughs> I'm really fucking up right now. Hold on. Don't come up yet. I'm going to get it. Sean Gardini. What's up, man? Man, I forgot my name. No one's ever going to remember Mark, so that's okay. Um. This is a three-round battle. It's going to be four jokes tip for tat in round one. Four jokes straight through in round two. Are you giving him fashion tips? <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Um, Third round will be another four jokes, tip for tat. We'll go to our judges for feedback in between the rounds, who they think is winning. We're going to vote on a winner at the end based on who they think won more rounds, who they think won overall. Up to our judges, up to you guys when I come to you. Does that sound good? You ready for this main event? Yeah. Fight Club. This is Philadelphia's yeah. best versus a former comedy Fight Club champion. Are you ready for this main event? Which one of you guys wants to go first in round one? I'll go first. Sean's going first. Mark's going second. Four jokes tip for Ted. This main event starts now. All right. I find it hilarious that I'm the one from Philadelphia, but Mark's the one with AIDS. So let's get it started. <laughs> AIDS, 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 AIDS. Hold on. Um, the guys Mark dates are so young, I can't tell if he's met him on Fire Island or Epstein's Island. <laughs> oh, yeah. Young Asian boys that I fuck. This is, wow, you know how far I've fallen. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I love it here at the stand, gang, but uh, just months ago, I was crowned champion of Fight Club at Skankfest in front of hundreds of people, <laughs> judges that people knew. <laughs> And uh, now I'm fighting a tourist. This is great. Wow. The cheese steaks could not be lower. This is awesome. First blood. Good one, Broke Hack Mountain. Um, geez. Uh, Mark's a Jewish cokehead. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm not applauding the Jew part. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Mark's a Jewish cokehead, guys. I don't know where the joke is there, but I'm telling you, it's right under his nose. Um, no, but uh, it is a good thing. Mark actually stopped doing blow, but only because you can't use coupons to buy cocaine, people. All right. Uh. All right. Thank you. It's never funny in Philadelphia. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so sad. This is sad. This bottom used to be on top. And uh, you lose one fight to that cunt Fleischer, and this is what they do to you here. They put you out to pasture. What do you got next for me, Matt? Am I going to face the fucking champion of Richmond Roastmasters from fucking Virginia? What's next? Go ahead, say something. Thanks. Uh, Mark's fucking old to me. Uh, Mark was born in the 80s, which is the same decade that the HIV virus was introduced to the population. Uh, not sure which event was worse for the LGBT community. Oh... Uh. Wow. You know what's crazy is when I was, when I was his age, I also <laughs> lived in Pennsylvania, and I also was in the closet. So that is... <laughs> Last joke. Scott Hope. 
All right, uh, yeah, Mark is from Pennsylvania. He's from Amish country, Pennsylvania, which makes sense since he sleeps with several men a night. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, but it's actually a good thing that Mark's from uh, Amish country because now we'll have a good excuse as to why no one from his hometown will ever see him on TV. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. I don't know, what do we got here? Tuck in your shirt, anyways, okay. <laughs> Do whatever you gotta do. I am older, uh, but let me just say this. I will not age because I am full of Asian cum. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. We're gonna go to our judges. We'll start with uh, Chris from Brooklyn. What do you think of the first round of this main event? Y you're also gay? No. <laughs> no, he's not gay. Oh, but now I feel bad saying he's winning. <laughs> Because I feel like I'm hate criming Mark, who's already been hate crimed by you, Matt Marin, who's ruining his entire life. <laughs> Did nobody listen to his set? <laughs> Fuck all of you people. Eli says, "What do you think of the main event so far?" Uh, pretty good, Matt. You look like all the bad news bears smashed together. <laughs> uh, I think it's about uh, even because uh, uh, he had the best joke of the night. But I like that. I just like Mark uh, in general, and he made fun of the judges, and that was awesome. So. It's about dead even so far. I'm looking forward to the rest of the battle. Michael Harrison, what's your feedback after round one? Uh, oh, yeah, this is too tough. Uh, you both are killers. I love that uh, guy from Philly drove here two hours. I know, he came this far to gay bash. It's hilarious. It's so, so Philly of him, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh man, yeah, I, I'm, I, fuck, it's so tight, because uh, you came back in the second half, but I, I overall want to give it to Mark, so Mark's my choice. So Michael's got Mark so far. Gino Bisconti, any advice moving forward? Both you came from Philly? Yeah. Uh, Eagles, what do you think of them not covering today? I don't know, man, I don't know. See, play. he's gay. Okay, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> Fight Club, are you ready for round two of this main event? We're gonna start with Mark and me four jokes straight through. Round two starts now. <clears throat> Matt, I wrote some uh, I wrote some haikus for you tonight, Matt. Oh, oh, he's haiku, haiku. My Asian boyfriend influenced me to write some haikus. Uh, here we go. Uh, a Philly comic. How to roast less than nothing? It's impossible. That's the first haiku. Here's a second haiku. Young Philly incel. <laughs> Appears in New York one night, never seen again. <laughs> Here's another one. Philadelphia. When you say jokes out loud, they don't make a sound. <laughs> Nobody cares about Philadelphia. La last haiku. I got one last haiku. <laughs> This last haiku is about me. Uh, once a champion, now an afterthought, a joke. I need pity claps. <laughs> Sean <Sorry>. Gardini. <laughs> All right, my turn. Jesus, Mark went to Penn State University, which I think is absolutely hilarious. It only makes sense because Penn State is to homosexuals what Howard is to black people. It's a historically gay college. <laughs> no. But uh, Mark did go to Penn State. He, uh, fuck. Where'd you go? You went to Penn State, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, Mark chose him. <laughs> Get to the same dust. I got No, 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 we're not even going there. Mark actually chose to go to Penn State, though, because their mascot is the Nittany Lion. And like I said before, Mark's a Jew. So when he heard Lion, he said, I'm in. Because Jews lie. <laughs> exactly. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's so old that when he went to Penn State, sodomy was still an elective, uh, and he took it. <laughs> Last joke. No, but Mark, uh, Mark studied accounting in Penn State. He was such a fucking nerd growing up. He didn't come out of the closet. He came out of a locker, people. <laughs> All right. Give it up one more time for round two of this main event. Go to our judges' table. Eli says, what do you think of round two? 
Uh, well, I'm a big Mark Benjamin fan. Always have been. Uh, Thank you, I respect Mark. the I respect the the risk of doing the haikus, but I was less uncomfortable when they were playing "Jews Will Not Replace Us" on the speaker earlier. <laughs> uh, so I give that round slightly to my man here, but uh, you know, I really got to start remembering people's names. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too. Yeah. Chris from Brooklyn, what do you think? So you're like a you're like a sneaky ginger. Right? Like, in certain light, you don't look like a ginger. He looks like a ginger whose skin didn't get the memo. Yeah. He just, I think he might be a sneaky gay is what I was trying to... Thanks for... He looks like he roots for Penn State more than Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think they're going to fuck after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> You're not even Asian, man. That's a super compliment. It's kind of a twink, though. Yeah. I think yeah. he's still winning, though. Cool. All right. <laughs> Michael Harrison. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of alt comedy, so haiku is all right. Uh, <laughs> I just love that you uh, made a mistake with remembering shit, so it makes me feel better. That's why I'm going to pick you. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to Sean. Gino Bisconti. I, uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I, I think this could go either way. Well, you can only go one way. God made you wrong. But this... <laughs> He's queer. This... Good. Go I'm <laughs> glad I didn't do the haiku joke I was about to do, <laughs> where I almost waved at the black guy when he said haiku. All right, so nervous white people. All right, so that actually uh, was the best part of the round was when he did the Howard joke and yeah. the black girl said, "I don't get this." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still torn between the two. <laughs> so is Penn State. No. <laughs> All right, we are going to go to round three. Fight Club, I need some energy. It's the final round of this main event. Are you guys ready for this final round? We're going to start with Sean Gardini. Four jokes, tip for tat. This round starts now. Uh, Mark looks like he works a glory hole at a Barnes & Noble. Uh, but seriously, I don't know where Mark works. However, I do know where he doesn't work, the comedy clubs. I am past it to New York comedy clubs. That's fine. Um, <laughs> no big deal. Hey, uh, yeah, Penn State. That's terrible. Sean, you went to Temple. The fucking home of Bill Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's the whole joke. I All right, good one, Dallas Friars Club. Um, <laughs> no, Mark is uh, Mark's 34 years old, but he's aging so poorly that his crow's feet are a size 10. Uh, but you know what they say about big feet, people? Huge pussy. Uh, you guys remember that movie, Philadelphia? I felt really bad for uh, Tom Hanks. Not because he had AIDS, but because he lived in Philadelphia. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, give it up for Kyle Dunnigan's worst character, everybody. <laughs> Excellent! Uh, Mark's actually from Mechanicsburg. Matt said it before. That's actually the same town that uh, SNL star Shane Gillis is from, uh, making Gillis the second most hated comedian from Mechanicsburg. Oh, I wish. Um, they both fucked Asians. <laughs> True. Hey, there you go. Uh, <laughs> hey, Sean, uh, if you're here, uh, who's shouting the N-word at the 76ers game? Oh, yeah! All Last his show. uncles. <laughs> I was going to say everybody else at the game. Uh, Mark, Mark Benjamin is actually a stage name. Not a lot of people know this. Uh, Mark's full name is Mark Benjamin Dicks in my ass. I, I've literally said that on stage. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you are, you're a cute little twink. You look like uh, an aspiring rapist that just, <laughs> just needs to hit the gym a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? To Matt's level over there. Give me a hell yeah! Give it up for your main event! <laughs> Go to our judges. Time to pick a winner. You can judge it based on the whole fight, based on who you think one more round's up to you guys. We'll start with Chris from Brooklyn. What do you think of this main event? I think. <laughs> All right. This is, right. this is very out of character for G.J. Charlottesville. Yeah, I didn't you. think I'd miss the anti-Semitic shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of wish you were just shitting on him the whole time instead of doing the 
because you're fucking funnier doing that. And I kind of do want to just see one more joke just to see if Mark's got anything else going. And then uh, I'd like to hear more of his jokes because I like them all. Chris Bunch, one more joke. What do the other judges first see what you guys think? Well, Eli Sayers, do you uh, have a winner in mind? Good, good battle. Great battle. Uh, yeah, I do have a winner in mind. Uh, really good battle. Kind of building on what Mark said. Yeah, Sean, you do look like the only reason you don't fuck kids is because you don't have the confidence. <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> I thought that, uh, you know, it was great. Thanks for coming out. Uh, you did very well. Your jokes were great. But, uh, you know, Mark, I'm a fan. He always comes out and brings it. I love the fucking uh, how laid back and how much you didn't give it. You, like, didn't, clearly just didn't want to be here. So I'm going to give it to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to Mark. I thought Mark won it. There's one vote for Mark, one vote for a tie. Michael Harrison, what do you think? <laughs> Sean does look like my sixth grade teacher, so I bet you could fuck kids. You know what I mean? It's very possible. We just learned something about you in sixth grade, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm scared of him. Uh, so yeah, I'm going with uh, with Mark, but I'm down for another joke. Um, then you, you shouldn't vote for someone if you're down for another joke. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> I pick Mark. Two votes for Mark. None for Sean, one vote for a tie. We'll go to you guys, Fight Club. Do you think the winner of this main event is Mark Benjamin? <laughs> or do you think the winner of this fight is Sean Gardini? <laughs> All right, it's close. I think barely Cravo goes Sean Gardino. Gino Bisconti. It's on you. Two votes for Mark, one for Sean, one for no overtime. What do you say? Wait, so what's the score right now? Two to one and one for a tie. If you vote for Sean, we'll go to an overtime. Well, obviously, I might do that. <laughs> what did you say, Gina? So wait, he's he's a Jew, right? Yes. <laughs> or I could vote for the person. Um, <laughs> thanks again. That was a joke, creepy mustache. Up. Uh, Plus, I'd love another shot of whiskey, so we should do one more joke. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, can we Fight get club? four more shots? Of, my dad used to have three at breakfast. Boy, could mom take a punch. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for laughing at that Asian guy who hits women. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't laugh at that, I don't fucking care. Learn how to cook women. Now, I'm going to vote for uh, the guy with the creepy fucking mustache. All right. That means we're even. Fight Club, we're going to pick a winner in sudden death overtime. <laughs> One joke apiece. We're going to start with Mark Benjamin. Fight Club, all the energy you have. We're going to overtime. One joke, pick a winner for this main event. Are you ready for overtime? Yeah. Overtime starts now. Final round. Fight. Uh, during the day, Sean installs flooring, uh, which is the only chance he gets to see carpet. Because <laughs> he's a virgin. Mark is not a virgin. Uh, he fucks a lot of dudes, I swear to God. Um, if only Mark's comedy career was like his sex life, at least then he'd be opening for someone funnier than him. <laughs> Go back to our judges table now. We'll start Michael Harrison. Uh, what do you think now after that overtime? You're right, uh, judging with the overtime, uh, I'll put it over then to Sean. Sean can take it, go for it. One vote for Sean Yardini. You can judge based on overtime, based on the whole fight. Up to you, Gino Bisconti. Not going to make it that easy based on one joke. I'm going to give it to Mark. You were fantastic as well. But these two guys were fucking great, by the way. You guys were fucking great. It's one vote for Sean, one vote for Mark. Chris from Brooklyn, what do you say? Um, I think I, I, I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to Sean. I think I thought it was stronger throughout. I like the entire gimmick, and uh, you can throw your whiskey at me. It's fine. Be my first gay experience. It's fine. <laughs> Two votes for Sean, one vote for Mark. Eli Sayers, what do you say? I mean, I think uh, I think Sean's great, but I do think Mark definitely won. It's good coming out of the audience. Do the right thing, y'all. Fight Club. Damn. This fight's going to go to you guys after overtime, after three rounds. Do you think the winner of this fight is Mark Benjamin? <laughs> yeah. Or is the winner of this fight Sean Gardini? Yeah. Kiss, 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 kiss. 
AIDS, 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 AIDS. They're going to do one more joke. We're going to go to double overtime. Yeah. Mark said it's not going to be good. Let's see. <laughs> one joke each. We're going to start with Sean this time. Second overtime starts now. Uh, Mark played baseball as a kid, uh, but I could tell he wasn't any good because he still strikes out every night. No. Uh. It's okay. Uh, it's all right. You're doing good. Um. Uh, hey, Sean's a straight, white, Irish, Italian, Philadelphia comedian. So, you know, he's got a great future in manual labor, everybody. <laughs> Holy sh! Very close battle. We'll go to our judges one more time. Let's see if we have a winner. Eli Sayers. Uh, you're both awesome. I, lo I feel like bad. I have to keep voting against Sean. Sh I love Sean, and I have to just keep putting him down, but I do think Mark won this. But great job, Sean. You were amazing. There's one vote for Mark. Chris from Brooklyn. It was weird with that last joke because you said he doesn't strike out and we all know he's a whore and then he sa you said he was going to do manual labor and we all know he's a pussy. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, thanks Eli. I feel, I feel a little better now. Uh, I said, I'm still going to give it to Sean. I think, I, I think that's how I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're just going to say the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. One vote for Sean, thing. one vote for Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Michael Harrison. Oh my God, I'm like a swing state because I just go round and round. But for this one, uh, I have to go Mark, so Mark overall. That's my choice. Two votes for Mark, one vote for Sean, Gino Bisconti. Don't make my life harder. <laughs> I'm, t I'm taking from the audience. You're absolutely fantastic. Have fun on the ride back to Philly. Your Eagles fucking owe me 110 bucks. Um, they don't give a fuck about my money. Uh, but you were great too, Mark. You guys were fantastic. This is what roast battles are. They just fucking go and go, and they're a great fucking time. I'm giving it to Mark, though, and I'm doing a shot of whiskey. <laughs> guys, and remember to tip the fuck out of Madison bringing us this booze. Ooh. Winner of this fight, Mark Benjamin. <laughs> and one more time for Madison and everyone here at the Stand Comedy Club. And now it's time for the bishop's address with our bishop. Give it up for Andrew Casertano. Bits, 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 bits. Keep it going for Matt Marin, everybody. Keep it going for yourselves, guys. You guys still alive? All right. I just turned 35 recently. Keep it going for me. Yeah, you guys should have come to my party. Everybody was making out. It was awesome. <laughs> I was trying to talk to people, but everyone was sucking each other's face. It's so fucking cool, man. I was dancing near this drunk chick at the bar. She was passed out. It was cool, whatever. Um, fuck yeah, I'm 35. All right. Uh, Fluke versus Sandeep. Skater hunk versus comedic psychiatrist. Nice fight. Fluke came out pretty strong, but Sandeep is a two-time fight club champion. He's here to prescribe Ambien and hurt your feelings. <laughs> Don't fuck with him, all right? Jacob versus Matt. Matt has one nut. He barely survived. The cancer came back at any time, but Matt is a strong boy. He will fight the cancer off. Nice battle, all right? <laughs> um, uh, Sarah versus John. Sarah's in an open relationship. Talk to her, Andrew. Ooh. <laughs> She's been with more women than you, probably. Are you jealous? Not really. I'm used to being alone. All right. Uh, Tyler versus Kyle. Kyler, Kyle's a cute boy with a teddy bear on his shirt. He was trying to show his pee-pee during the fight. <laughs> Tried to distract Tyler with his little boy body. Ooh, you want to see my wee-wee? Look, I have a teddy bear on my shirt. Ooh, don't roast me, Tyler. Take me home. Ooh. I feel like I should just do this once before I leave, right? Ooh, 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 yeah! Keep it going for Matt Marin! Yeah. The Bishop Andrew Casertano!